Mecca's Guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Mac here, continuing Resident Evil 4 Remake Collectibles Guide. Now moving on to chapter 10. We start from the very beginning of the chapter where the statue is playing as Leon. If you walk through the door pretty much right in front of you, on the desk you can find a merchant request called Merciless Knight. So make sure you pick that up and let's go do it. Then if you go through this next door, we can actually just finish the more pest control merchant request. Around the corner, we have to go here for what we're doing, but right as you come through this hole, you should notice a rat on the ground in front of you. It does roam back and forth very slowly, so just take a peek around the corner if you don't see it right away. Take out the rat for all three, and now we can try the Merciless Knight Merchant Request. In order to do this, we're going to start by heading towards the library, which is where we need to go for our main objective. Instead of going into the library, go through the clock door we accessed earlier with Ashley and go all the way down the steps and then into the elevator. I'm going to fast forward the clip a little bit because you know exactly where we're going. You'll end up in the room with three knights. The golden knight is our main priority here, but if you take out the two smaller knights first, it does make that fight a lot easier. Upon defeating the golden knight, you will get the merchant request completed and make sure to loot all three of these knights to get some pretty good um, gemstones that you can later apply to treasures and uh, everything. I'm not gonna show you the whole fight. You know the drill by now. Shoot the red kind of alien looking bit until the head explodes and you are good to go and head back upstairs. Now we're heading back upstairs around the corner and you'll notice the library kind of to my right. So up these stairs, we're going through the first clock and then take a right hand turn to end up in the library. In the library, there may be two knights, which I've already taken care of. And instead of continuing through the library, we want to go to the right hand side where we picked up the bunch of keys when we were playing as Ashley. And across from that, you will notice that there is basically a safe embedded into the wall and you can interact with it and use the cubic device to solve the puzzle, open up this safe. And inside we can find a very rare weapon because there's not a lot of weapons in the game that you can find kind of scattered about. This is the assault rifle, so pick it up and store it. Make sure you have enough room to carry it. Next up, we are now leaving the library from the other staircase. This is towards our main objective. And at the top of the steps, this is where Ashley would have put the insignia into the door to reunite with Leon. And now that we're here with Leon, we can use the cubic device on this cabinet to open it up and find the Golden Lynx treasure inside, which I believe trades for a decent value. Next up, we've reached the ballroom. Watch out, there's quite a few flying enemies in here that can really chew through your ammo if you're not careful. And there are two treasures we can grab. From kind of the bottom floor middle area, you can go underneath this rubble, shoot down the container and grab the ruby. You can also go kind of behind the staircase that we use to get into the area. This will lead you to a ladder you need to use to get to the lever, but behind that ladder, there's also a chest. In that chest, you can find the ornate beetle. We've then made a bit of progress into the mission. We've ended up inside of the depths, and at the end of the depths, you'll come out of the water and onto this uh, staircase. And this one's pretty obvious, but directly in front of you, instead of going through the crack in the wall to your left to continue the mission, find the elegant crown on the ground. From the elegant crown, you can turn and head through the hole in the wall. In this first room, there's a yellow herb, so you'll want to pick that up. It's very useful, as I've been pointing them out throughout the video. But in order to get the next treasure, which is a red barrel gemstone, head up the ladder and then through this hallway and keep to the left when possible. And you should notice a container hanging from the ceiling pipe on your left. Shoot it down to grab it. Now the next thing we can do is grab the astute appraiser achievement slash trophy. Since we have the elegant crown, it has five gemstone slots. And if we apply five unique gemstones and make sure that they are the five rarest gemstones, this will add up to a total value of 100,000 credits. 
And with this, you can then trade it or sell it to the merchant for 100,000 and the astute appraiser achievement or trophy should unlock. If you don't have five unique rare gemstones, just hold on to this for later. Next up, just across the hall from the door that leads to the merchant, you can find the Castellan for this chapter through the kind of hole in the wall. It's pretty tough to see, though. Now you'll make some progress into the mission and you'll have to power the elevator using the kind of power controls. So you'll activate that, you'll get attacked and defend yourself, and then you can start navigating your way back towards the elevator. Don't go into the elevator until you complete watching this video, by the way. There's a little trick that I'm going to show you on uh, how to unlock an achievement or trophy that you can easily miss. But after you go through the first door, you'll now be going back from the hallway that we came from. And there was a previously locked door on your left, and you'll be able to go through that door now. It was on your right when you came into the area, on your left when you're leaving. You'll now be able to go in there, and there is a chest. At the end of the hall, you can open it up and find the yellow diamond inside. Last but not least, in this chapter, you can grab the Wave Goodbye right hand achievement slash trophy. And for this, we actually have to kill the monster that's chasing us before going to the elevator and leaving the mission, basically. What you want to do is you want to use the movement and the map in order to bait this creature to follow you to the nitrogen showers. There are four total nitrogen showers. One is in the power supply room at the beginning when it attacks you. The other one is across the hall from the yellow diamond treasure. One is on the way to the elevator uh, room. And the last one can be found on the far end of the elevator room if you were to go through it and then kind of backtrack further from where we came. Either way, you want to basically bait the monster into these nitrogen uh, traps, which will allow you to basically take five or ten seconds to do as much damage as you want. And to get this achievement or trophy to unlock, we actually have to take it down completely. You don't have to use the nitrogen showers, but it makes it a heck of a lot easier, trust me. If you feel like you took too much damage or wasted too much ammo, feel free to reload the last autosave, which will take you back to the power supply room as long as you're not on the highest difficulty. Just make sure if you do that, you recollect the treasure. After you take this out, before you leave the mission, you'll unlock the achievement or trophy. Make sure to loot it for a pretty valuable treasure as well. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.